So I started with a pretty little kitty in order to make the stark contrast of a horror game even more terrifying. Uh, it's... I like to call it the Minecraft effect. You know how in Minecraft uh, everything is... Just something about it just seems eerie. You can't explain why. But the thing is, with normal horror games, you're probably not scared. But with Minecraft, you're not expecting it. <laughs> Honestly, Minecraft is kind of a horror game. There's no ambient sounds. The only thing you hear are the things around you. And back in the old day, you had low fog that it was so creepy just to move around and c418 thought it was a good idea to add horrifying absolutely horrifying sounding cave sounds that i don't know why he thought they were a good idea but hey they're in the game thank you c418 and also when you whenever you just boat past an elder guardian some people absolutely flip out over that, and it's the funniest thing to watch. Next I add some cute cat sounds, because who doesn't look, love a good cat sound? So I started working on the UI at the top, and uh... I don't understand it, but Scratch has this weird thing where uh, you can see the little uh, orange and thing. Conveniently, I found an option to where you could just get the number and not the uh, variable name, so that's fine. I then installed the part where uh, if you had enough clicks, I guess they're called, that you could proceed, and if you didn't, you would get a special message from my boy. I then made an under or uh, an, yeah an underwater um, little click level I guess you could call it, but uh, man, <laughs> I don't think other people are going to find that as scary as I do. I have, I, I swear, I have like every single phobia related to water, and just that one image of seaweed underwater just makes me nervous. <laughs> And uh, for the water thing, I didn't know exactly what to add. Fish seemed weird. Landmines seemed weird. So I just went with what part of another part of a lot of water-related phobias, and that's the fear of the unknown. Like massive structures under the water? I don't like that. That's scary, and I do. I I don't want to do this ever again. And the worst part of all is, out of all of the levels, this is the one with the most, the most sound design, and I hate it so much. The only person that it's scaring is me. I added a stupid raccoon level because I just thought it was absolutely hilarious for this joke. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love raccoons. They're by far my favorite animal, and they're by far the cutest. And it makes me very upset that it is not legal to own one as a pet where I live. And that makes me very upset. So, <laughs> I put them in a level. <laughs> a very simple one, where you have two options. You pet the raccoon, or you don't pet the raccoon. And if you don't pet the raccoon, you're going to get another talk from Adachi, and he's going to be very concerned with your life choices, as I would be if you decided not to pet a raccoon. I would rather have rabies than not pet a raccoon. I added some narrative elements to add some extra spook factor. It's just generic little text that you'd find in any horror game, so it's not anything special. Some horrendous sound design later, and finally, here's the 
finished product, even though it doesn't look really look finished. It's it's scratch, and I'm lazy. Okay. Okay, so this should be the end product. Let's go. Cat. And if you click here, and you, you, you don't have enough, it should. What would you expect? Welcome to the real world. Huh. I gotta say, this pisses me off. <laughs> Not even gonna make excuses. Well, so long. Okay. anything. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You are too much raining. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. Huh. I gotta say, this pisses me off. <laughs> Not even gonna make excuses. Well, so long. I don't know why I included this. This was just funny. <laughs>